Oh, whoa. Didn't see you there. I was just doing a Vivo Barefoot Primus Trail review while I was out on the trails, where they should be used. Don't watch any reviews that don't test them on the trail. I'm gonna go over some of the important things like comfort, grip, comfort, grip, durability, build quality, materials, blah, 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 so forth, so you know if the Vivo Barefoot Primus Trails are right for you. First thing I'll go over is, boy oh boy, that view is beautiful. What a blessing. Um, no, but first things I'll cover are comfort. Because that's obviously the most important thing that you want in shoes is a very comfortable shoe. If you don't have a very comfortable shoe, well, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? Because in my opinion, comfort is the absolutely most important aspect when you're buying any piece of shoes. If you have uncomfortable shoes, you're not going to want to walk in them, let alone run, hike, or scramble. So how do the Primus Trails stack up in the comfort department? Well, honestly, really, really good. I adore these shoes. They were some of the first barefoot shoes I ever tried, and boy, I'm never going back. Flexibility, the lacing system, the materials, the tread pattern, it just seemed to have worked so perfectly for my feet. And by far and beyond, they're the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn. Now, let's talk about temperature comfort too, because, well, you're gonna be using them in different temperatures, I imagine. So out here right now, it's between eight to 10 degrees Celsius, just fairly chilly. You know, I have my neck gaiter on and everything. I'm only really wearing merino wool socks here. It's a thin, thin layer, and these are the regular trail, trail version. They're not the special winter version. So I'd say down to 10 degrees, comfort while moving 5 10 degrees i have used these in snow and winter conditions however i would recommend the winter primus trails if you're going for a little bit colder than this especially if it's going to be wet well let's talk about some durability here how durable are the Vivo Barefoot Primus Trails? And well, I gotta say, they're pretty damn durable. Now, I'm not gonna say they're like a crazy hiking boot, because obviously they're not that. From each pair of shoes, about daily use, and scramble about a dozen times a year, and biking, and running, and stuff, I get about one whole year of use out of them. Which is pretty good, considering how fast I used to go through regular shoes, and the kind of stuff that I do to my shoes. I would say there are some known problems with the Primus Trails. A lot of people mention this area here and this area here begins to fray uh, pretty easily. But overall, pretty damn good. Like the tread lasts a good while. You know, I abuse the hell out of these things. So what about grip? And I gotta say that looking at the profile at the bot, cat, damn. <coughs> anyways, looking at the profile at the bottom, uh, they're tough, they're durable, they're grippy, and no matter if I'm doing some sketchy climbing or going along some waterfalls or scrambling across a knife's edge, they're pretty great. They retain just enough of that barefoot feeling while protecting you and offering that great grip. Three millimeters is perfect. Oh boy, look at that view. Don't get much better than that, does it? Nope. So in terms of materials and build quality, these things are pretty darn awesome too. Vivo Barefoot makes it a point to introduce sustainability and recycled materials into their designs as much as possible, which I gotta say is pretty awesome. It depends on which model of the Primus Trails you get, you'll get a different upper. The regular Primus Trail FG just use a mesh-like uh, synthetic upper, which is made of recycled PET plastic. The sole, of course, is a tough rubber. The lacing system is just fantastic. And overall, the build quality is sturdy, tough, durable, confidence-inspiring, locked in. I haven't had any problems with them falling apart, though I have seen online some people had some issues. So it's not to say the shoes are without their faults. However, for me, throughout all the multiple pairs I've owned, they've been nothing but stellar. Anything I don't like about these shoes? Um, they're expensive, man. You know, I've pretty much every time gotten these shoes at a pretty significant discount or sale. I'm not sponsored by Vivo Barefoot or something, but I've always bought these at a discount, you know, 
30% off, 10% off. Um, I'll put a link in the description so it can help you find uh, discounts because they're expensive, man. One of those links down there, I'll get just a little bit of cash back from that uh, at no cost to you. And for me, you know, I much rather prefer the comfort of agility and finesse rather than the clunky, you know, invincibility feeling that you might get from regular hiking shoes. Of course, this might not be your favorite thing if you're new to barefoot. For reference though, I have climbed some mountains and such without shoes at all. So my feet are relatively tough. You know, I have taken these shoes on some really gnarly, ooh, look at that. Ah, oh, look at that. <laughs> we found it, we found the window. To the window. <laughs> Let's go through. Whew. Now ain't that something. <laughs> oh, beautiful little window. If you kind of like this video, please check out the other stuff on my channel here because I do a lot more adventures and shenanigans. So you'll want to be tuned in for those. Trust me, they get weird. They get really weird. So here we are. We did it with nothing but our trusty little Primus trails. So if you're doing light, moderate climbing, scrambling, and not too deep of scree, I highly recommend them. I've taken them on very deep scree, and it is really annoying having to always fish rocks out of your socks. Talk about war spite. Ew, suck. Oh, that was a gross little scramble. I did not enjoy that one. But with that in mind, they're phenomenal shoes, and I, I can definitely attest to their, you know, quality for this kind of terrain. Um, thank you for watching. I'm going to end this off with a little note from the little Summit Registrar, and I hope you have a lovely day. My aunt Michelle died of cancer last week. Came up here to clear my mind. To my surprise, someone left me a shot of pink whiskey. Never underestimate your deeds, good or bad. We're all together. I'm grateful for the person before me. If you're reading this, I'm grateful for you as well. Thank you for making the journey, Travis Dahl. Rest in peace, tear up, Michelle. Hope everyone here has a beautiful day.